Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I'm your friend Suresh today, and in this video, I'm going to discuss very interesting scenario. That is, can we commit a part of a file in Git? Suppose you made a lot of changes into the file, but you only want to commit few changes, not all of it. In this discussion, we will also talk about the concept of hunks in Git. So guys, such operations and the concept of hunks are very useful when we work on a real project because we work on a multiple things at a time but don't want to commit all of them as a part of single commit, right? Because all of the changes does not belong to the same issue. Let me explain the scenario practically and then we'll proceed further. Here, I'm in the test repository and I'm on master branch. And if you look at the repository here, I have m1.txt file available and uh, here we can see the current status so my working tree is clean we don't have anything to commit so let's make some changes to m1.txt so m1.txt is already having few numbers written 1 to 8 and uh, here what I am going to do is I am just going to use numeric value over here for few of the lines so I have added 1, 3, 5 and 7. Let's save this file. So here is the scenario that some of these changes I want to commit immediately and some of the changes I will commit later in a separate commit or maybe I will not commit them at all. But that I will decide later. But for now, I want to commit some of the changes. For example, I want to commit the changes for number 7. I only want to commit this one, not 1, 3, and 5. So here the question is how can I do that because all these changes belongs to the same file right. So there are few different ways to do that in git. So one option is either we can remove the changes from the file manually and only keep the changes that I want to commit now but that will be like rework right. So there is one more way which is much better than removing the changes manually. So here what we can do is we can still use git add command but with additional flag. Let me show you that. So we have m1.txt available in working area because we modified and here what we can do is we can use git add with patch flag. So we can use hyphen hyphen patch and still m1.txt and here is what happens. Git looked at the changes which I made in the file and divided them into section called hunks. Here changes are small so git has considered everything as a single hunk. So it's showing here one of one it means there is only one hunk and also here we have a few options that we can use for further operations. Let me explain that. So here we can press question mark to know all the details about these characters y and u etc. So here we have a details. So if you want to stage this hunk, we can press Y. If you do not want to stage, we can press N. If you want to quit the operation Q likewise and we can split the current hunk into a smaller hunk. So we can press S over here. So I don't want to commit all of these changes. I want to split. I want to ask Git to split the changes, split this content into smaller hunks. So here I can press S. And now we have total four hunks and this is first hunk that we are seeing currently on the screen. And again we have a couple of options over here for further operation. As I mentioned earlier, I don't want to commit 1, 3 and 5. I only want to commit this one, 7, right? Here the hunk that we are seeing is not related to the change that I want to commit now. So I want to skip this. So here I want to skip the hunk. So I can press N. So here I used N option and uh, this is the second hunk that we are seeing. And I also want to skip this one. I don't want to commit. And yes, this is the third hunk that we are seeing currently. This hunk is also not having the changes which I want to commit right now. And this is the third hunk. So I'll move ahead. I also want to skip third one. And this is the fourth hunk that we are seeing. And it has the change which I want to commit now. So this is the part of a file which I want to commit. So here I can use Y option. And here m1.txt is staged. 
to staging area which is only having this change so let's recap what we just did we used git add with patch flag to add some of the changes from the working area to staging area and we have only added one change from the file and we left other changes unstaged in the working area so here if i'll do git status then we can see m1.txt is available in the staging index as well and m1.txt is also available in the working area because we left few changes as is in the m1.txt and from here we can commit updated m1 and uh, we can check log and we can also refer the commit id to see what are the changes that was committed as a part of this commit id so we can use git show start of the commit id so here if you notice we have this change committed it is not having the change for 1 3 and 5 please note git add is not the only command which has this patch option other commands also have it for example we can use patch option with git checkout as well git stash and even with git reset as well and in all of these cases we can use patch it means we can do the operation not on a file by file basis but on a hunk by hunk basis that we just saw so we can decide which changes inside each file are involved in the checkout or stash or reset so guys such operations and the concept of hunks are very useful when we work on a real project because we work on a multiple things at a time but don't want to commit all of them as a part of single commit right so that was all about this video guys i hope you understood the discussion and the concept of hunks in git and you can reach out to me in case of any questions or any doubts and also please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you